again, Marco Andretti upside down the second time of the year for Marco. He was upside down in Indianapolis. We started to say it was a good, clean start, then some bumping, and you see he's trying to push himself out of there, and there's no way he's going to get out until they roll that car over. Yeah, and Danica went off on the other side. I'm not sure if she made any contact with anybody, but Danica did not get a good start. She fell back, and she was kind of in between Kanan and Marco back there, and uh, I think that's probably what started that whole thing, was they didn't know whether to try to make a pass. They finally got out of the throttle, and then it just uh, kind of jammed up from there on back. Not sure what they'll do about a restart. That did happen in the very first corner after the start of the event. And so you can imagine what would have happened had they started down there yeah, on the actual the starting line. They'll push the car over. Good news is Marco was moving around in there. It looked like he was trying to get out. Well, this is a race that they had high hopes that he could win. Remember, he won at Infineon last year. He's been one of the fastest drivers throughout practice and qualifying yesterday. He was the fastest in the single lap qualifying session, uh, but then did not uh, fare so well in that 10-minute session. Let's go down here from Michael. Need a replay. Let's roll it, and you can take a look here. Waiting. Yeah, we both are. Because uh, you, you, you didn't get to see it. You didn't see what happened, right? No, I did. Here it comes. Now that the monitor's out, so. So Danica got... Oh, oh. Tony spun. It was Tony's fault. Ah, oh, Jesus. One more look, Michael. That one wasn't a good foot angle. When you say it was Tony's fault, from what perspective? Uh, not in terms of doing anything wrong. He just lost... Control looks like lit him up and, and Mark was just a victim.